Take two of these students. How are you today? You're good? I'm happy if you're good. So kids, hello again. Today is Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. It's the start of the month, July 1st. So again, kids, it's already July. June is already over. We cannot go back to the month or days or weeks anymore because we are already starting a new month. Okay, so this is me, Teacher Claire, and again, this video is brought to you by Kowtow International School. Alright, so kids, let's get started. Today, our lesson is about conversation, and we are going to learn a story. Yep, we are going to learn a story. I'll be... I'll tell you a story and I hope that you will understand this story. And what is the title of the story? It's Kate and the Snake. Again, Kate and the Snake. Just one moment kids, I'll just make sure. Okay. So again, it's Kate and the Snake. So Kate here is the name of a person. And she's a little girl, okay? She's a girl. So again, Kate, like you, we have your name, like we have Chisan, uh, who else? Dalin, um, Dine. Yeah, those are your names. And Kate here is also a name of a little girl. Now, Kate and the snake. So snake kids, wait, I'll show you a picture. Okay, oh, this is scary. Okay, so Kate and the snake. So let's see what is this story all about, okay? Alright, so let's get started, kids. It's a rainy day by the lake. So lake kids, I'll show you a picture so that you will understand. Okay, again, it's a rainy day. Rainy day. So rainy, okay, by the lake. Lake is a, I'll show you a picture. So I will we'll do this so that you will understand. On your book, there you go. Okay. So it's a rainy day by the lake. So it's raining. This is the lake. Okay, kids? This is the lake. Mm. It's water where you can swim and it's raining. All right? Next. So again, kids, it's a rainy day by the lake, right? Now, Kate, Kate swims in the lake. So Kate went to the lake and swim. Okay, Kate swims in the lake. Swim, okay, swim. And what happened next? A snake, a snake here, a snake makes its way to the lake meaning this snake went to the lake and Kate was there she's there okay not what Kate is there so I'll show you a picture the a snake okay there a snake went okay there you go so a snake makes its way to the lake there so this is where kate is swimming and this snake makes its way to the lake so this 
snake went to the lake. And Kate is there. Kate is swimming. So the snake sees Kate. So this snake saw Kate. What will happen next? Let's see. Okay, so the snake sees Kate, right? So this snake, this snake saw Kate. This is scary. I will be scared too if I see a snake. So what did um, Kate do? So when the, the snake sees Kate, the snake chases Kate from the lake. So the snake went to Kate. Chase, okay? The snake chased, meaning this snake followed Kate. Because Kate is swimming. Kate is swimming. And this snake follows Kate, chases her. That's why when Kate saw the snake, Kate stays away from the lake. So Kate saw a snake. She know now that there is a snake on the lake. So Kate went away. Run, run away. And he stayed away from the lake. So from that time on, Kate never went to the lake swimming. Yep, because she is afraid. Because there's a snake in the lake okay so i hope you understand our story today kids again our story is about kate and the snake okay so what happened was it was a rainy day that time so we'll talk about in the past already so that time it's raining it's raining but still kate went swimming in the lake okay and a snake saw kate swimming in the lake and this snake this snake chases kate followed her as she swim now kate kate saw the snake so kate ran away ran away and she stayed away from the lake okay so kids that's the story for today um i hope that you did understand our story and i hope you had fun um let's try if you can remember the story during our practice okay all right so i'll see you later kids um please bring out your books as well because the picture is there so you can better understand what happened in the story okay so bring up your books and i'll see you later i will be back all right kids i'm back let's have some activity let's have an activity for um, our lesson today not really a lesson but the story that we learn today okay so here's what we're going to do i rearrange the story here so um, we are going to um, identify which one happened first okay which which happened first so in the story kate and the snake which among this happen first so you can use your book while helping me answer it okay so we are going to put the numbers here from one two six two four six okay so one is the very beginning of the story and number six is the end of the story okay so number one what happened what is the start of the story
It's what color? Okay, it's a rainy day by the lake. Can you please read after me, okay? It's a rainy day by the lake. This is number one. And what happened next? It's a rainy day by the lake. And Kate swims in the lake. Again, kids, please use your book and help me answer this. Because in your book, it is um, arranged by order. Okay, so you can help me out. So next is a rainy day by the lake. Kate swims in the lake. And what else? A snake makes its way to the lake. So Kate was already swimming and a snake makes its way to the lake as well. So Kate is swimming and the snake went to the lake as well. And what happened next was, since the snake went to the lake, the snake sees Kate, right? The snake saw Kate. So this is number four. Now what happened next? The snake saw Kate and the snake tried to follow Kate. Maybe the snake wants to bite Kate or eat her. I'm not sure. But it's dangerous. So again, the snake saw Kate and what happened next? The snake chases. Chases Kate from the lake means follow. So uh, this is Kate swimming and then here comes the snake. Right? Now Kate saw the snake. So stop. Oh snake! And then run away. Yep, Kate saw the snake. That's why Kate stays away from the lake. So Kate never went to the lake again to swim because she knows there's a snake in the lake. So this is number six. Okay, so let me just check. Alright, so that's the end of the story. That's Kate and the Snake Kids. Now, I'll give you something to do um, on your book, maybe color it, or I'll, I'll try to find something else for you to do which is connected to our story for today, okay? Alright, so I'll see you later, kids, and I'll give you some homework to do. Alright, kids, it's time for homework. Again, oh, as always, for your homework, I'll be sending you a picture or a video um, regarding your homework so that I can give you uh, better instructions and I can help you out, okay? So please wait for your homework. And let's just have a short, let's have a short review before we end our class. Um, today, we learned a new story. And that is the story of Kate in the snake. Right? So, in this story, we have Kate, a little girl, and a dangerous snake. So, it's a rainy day. Ooh, it's raining. And Kate, the little girl, went to the lake and swam. However, a snake went to the lake as well. And this snake saw Kate, the little girl. Now, the snake tried to follow, tried to follow Kate, who was swimming at that time. And Kate, the little girl, saw the snake. That's why he ran away from the lake and never went back again. Right? So that's the story end of Kate and Snake. So what did we learn in this lesson case? Um, snake can be very dangerous. Because they have venom. 
it's poisonous, it can kill people. But don't worry because not all snake is poisonous. And they can become very aggressive if you threaten them. Okay, so if you see a snake, just walk slowly away from them. Okay? Alright. So kids, that's it. And by the way, since this is conversation, we are also going to learn how to read the sentences. And I'll, um, I'll try to send you a picture um, with, which you can use to understand better the story. Okay? So kids, I need to say goodbye again. And I'll see you. Don't worry, I'll see you again tomorrow. Alright? So do your homework. Goodbye.